stiletto pumps in the club. Hey gems, it's girl Miss Jamima, and we are back at it again with another video. So today's video is going to be a failed DSW shoe haul. Um, but before we get into that, are you subscribed? Chill. <laughs> why, why I gotta keep asking you this? You, I'm talking to you because you've, you've been here before. You've been here a couple times, actually, if we're really being honest, sis. I'm not gonna drop your name or nothing, but you've been around, you've watched my videos. So why aren't you subscribed? Girl, stop playing with your girl. Come on over. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I I feel like I'm searching for like the perfect, reasonably comfortable black heel. And I just can't find it. And I feel like I'm in this predicament because it's so difficult to find size 11 shoes in stores, size 10, size 11. And I feel like I realize I'm not a size 10 anymore, but I still kind of wanted to like push, push it a little bit <laughs> just to see what I can get away with because some shoes do run large and I can fit a 10, but apparently that's a rare thing according to this haul, baby. So I'm just going to show you what I got and they either didn't fit or they were cheap and the wheel was just like the heel was wobbly and i don't like that okay y'all y'all see these yams okay i need something sturdy so that's not gonna it's not gonna do okay it's not gonna work for me i need solid sturdy shoes so you know i'm tired of y'all dragging me i've just decided to start investing in certain pieces because like at this point i'm dragging myself like what's really tea like, I wish I could have just gone to the store and tried out, but no, they don't even have anything that's re re remotely close to my size. So I have to buy everything online and then everything's a dud. And I have to go back and carry all these damn shoes in my hand looking crazy. <sighs> Anyways, let's just get started. So first we have these shoes here from the brand Mia, size 10. Now these shoes are so adorable. First of all, I already know I can't walk in it, but you know, for the right dinner occasion, I will struggle. But child, when I say, <laughs> they might as well be an eight and a half, a seven, because the way they don't fit, um, but they are so cute. Yo, I didn't bother taking this part off, because I'm like, what? I might even go mess up the shoe. But it's the bedazzled cheetah print for me. Look how sexy this shoe is. Bedazzled cheetah print? Are you kidding me? Oh man, this, and it's not even like an unreasonable like height because you know I didn't get nothing crazy. Cause listen, okay, let's be realistic. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a hundred. Um, I'm not walking in no five inch heels anymore. That's just not my my calling. It's 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 not my place anymore. Unless it has a one inch platform, I'm not doing anything over four inches. Okay, and that's pushing it. Give me a two inch kitten heel. <laughs> Give me a three inch heel, honey, and that is my home. But this was so damn sexy. But I think the Mia shoes run small already. Plus it was a 10, so this really fits like a six. <laughs> so I was so disappointed because it's just really a beautiful shoe, beautiful almond toe. Like there's no point even my showing y'all the shoes on my feet because my feet doesn't even go into these shoes, child. So this is just gonna be show and tell, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all know I like to do a little ghetto uh shoe haul situation, but yeah, it's just not going to be the case this time because when I say failure, oh, honey, I mean failure and I'm not being cute. Failure. But yeah, super cute. Oh, this was so cute. But it was also cheap, so I should have known. I really should have known. I just can't be cheap anymore, y'all. Like, the days when my knees and my ankles were sturdy enough to finesse cheap, those days are long gone. Like, child... I need steel columns in my shoes, okay? Like, I need all the support I can get. Like, this is actually a joke. So next I have these Vince Camuto shoes. And what size are these? Did I get these in 11 too or 10? These are in a 10. But my biggest issue with the shoe was the placement of the heel. Um, I thought that it would make it more comfortable. I don't know why I thought that. 
but it actually makes it uncomfortable like it's too far in where i feel like you know when you put your heel down and walk like this it's like it's too far forward so i don't know it just it's very uncomfortable for me to walk in but you know i thought this would be a cute simple shoe nice square toe two straps here and i like how high up the strap goes makes your foot feel a little more secure in it has a little bit of you know sponge interior on it and it's just a cute baby spatula it's not outrageous it's not crazy it's slightly um tapered like it's it's nice it's nice it's classy i like it um but just the heel was just too far in for me and not comfortable and it was a size 10. so my right foot is the bigger one right so the left foot was fine like it was like right here right right here on the edge okay but my right foot was <laughs> all the way out here okay so left foot here right foot here god i can't win y'all like it sucks when one foot is bigger than the other because if you finesse one foot you can't finesse the other it's really trash and i hate that for me like why is that why is one side of our body always like always trying to conversation to do more like sis calm down we're all in this together who are you fighting yourself me us oh same body so let's relax relax oh. all right so next oh I bought these Steve Madden's, y'all. I, I, I can't even walk in these, but I didn't care. This was the perfect shoe, heel aside, because you literally just put it on and pull this on the back of your foot and you go. I love a simple shoe. Y'all, the whole buckling stuff, I tell y'all, I'm out of breath when I bend over, okay? It's too much belly. Too much belly for me to be doing all that bend over. I can't do it. So when I saw this, I said, what? Let me grab these. Nope. Don't fit doesn't fit size 10 doesn't fit steve madden runs small i knew this and i still decided to go for it because I, I really just be out here hoping for miracles i'm out here waiting for miracles in all aspects of my life and i truly hate that for me such a beautiful shoe a beautiful almond toe look how perfect this almond toe is perfect and it's in this like suede material or fuede i, I don't know i'm not in y'all's business i just know the show was cute Okay, the shoe was cute. Y'all, when I say I try to get this behind my foot, <laughs> once again, my feet was back here, okay? And I'm over here trying to force this, this poor strap behind my foot. Oh, but the shoe is so cute and so sexy and so elegant. And I just, I love everything about it. And y'all, I was willing to struggle in these heels for this shoe. Oh, it's just classic. And the flayed material just sets it off. Just makes it 10 times sexier. I am so disappointed that these shoes don't fit. Oh, gosh. I'm telling y'all, all y'all girls with small feet, like, tell me what it's like to be God's favorite. Like, please, tell me what it's like because I can't relate. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to be the favorite. It must be nice. Next, we have this shoe here. Wow, this is really making me want to cry. <laughs> because none of these shoes fit me? Like, is this really a joke? None of these heels fit. Wow. So, this one was no bueno for me. And I got this in 11, mix. Um, because the heel was just not doing it for me. <laughs> and like, you know, touching it now, it doesn't feel wobbly. But I think because it's a single strap and it's all in the front, my feet just kind of like, are like vlop vlop inside the shoe. Cause my feet are kind of like inverted <laughs> and so i think because my feet aren't straight it really shows in this the shoe and um it really shows in how i walk in it um and so i felt very insecure and unsafe okay i felt like i was going to die with every step and even though it's a really low heel it's real, real simple to wear um i don't think this is the one for me and it's very unfortunate because i'm pretty sure i ordered something like this from nordstrom as well I'm so waiting for my order to come back. I'm just like, I don't think this style shoe is good for me. I think, I think, I think I need either a double strap or a bare strap because it's getting foot flop in the front, but I need more security for it to be a heel. So that's why that didn't work for me. Or, you know, maybe it is the heel. Maybe it is the brand. Um, I guess when I get my, my Nordstrom items, I will be able to tell 
if it's a quality or not, or if it's just the way I walk. And it might just be the way I walk. <laughs> now, let me see your ball. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Next, we have. So next we have another pair of shoes from NYX. Um, honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of these. I know that these are like a dupe for, I think Valentino. Uh, I don't remember the makers of this heel, but once again, the heel, now that I'm like, I feel like it's not unsturdy when I do it like this. I don't know if this is a valid way to try it. But also, I have not worn stiletto heels. <laughs> stiletto, pumps, in the club. Mm, 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 mm. listen if you know that song you're too young <laughs> but yeah i haven't worn stiletto heels in years when i tell you years like i have not worn stiletto heels i could say like five years Ooh, because i haven't worn heels for real for in a while and even i did you know block heels were out it was a vibe it was my vibe so you know that's still that that the type of heel that i gravitate towards but even before that, I was wearing stilettos. But that's been a long time. And so I think part of the issue is the fact that I no longer know how to walk in stilettos. Um, and I've certainly gained weight since the last time I walked in stilettos. So I'm just like, my balance, I'm off kilter. And then it's a lot of weight on this tiny little circumference of a, of a heel. So I was just like, chow, another shoe I don't feel secure in. Plus, it's real shiny on the bottom. And glidey <laughs> and there's no texture nothing to help you grip the ground when you're walking and so this is an accident waiting to happen and i don't like it i'm like all the first shoes i might be in love with hard pass i just got the pass once again the brand mix and i also really feel like i just the brand mix it's cheap but it's not quality and you know when it comes to shoes for content and shoes for my regular life my expectations are not the same. So a lot of, sometimes some of these hauls that you guys see are more so content hauls. I'm not expecting to wear these shoes multiple times and have them last me all night. Like they're mainly like, this is cute for an hour or two. This is cute for a quick Instagram picture just to show you guys some styling ideas. Um, and so if this was that kind of haul, then these would have been fine. These shoes would have been completely fine. But I'm looking for shoes for me to wear out. Like I can't keep buying content material when it comes time for me to go out. I look like a bum, okay? So, because it's not that type of haul, y'all gotta make the cut. Y'all gotta make the cut, so y'all gotta, gotta go bae. Y'all gotta go bae. Last but not least, so these aren't really a heel, but they are platform sandals. Now, thankfully, these are the one shoe that actually does fit, thankfully. Um, they're super cute, very comfortable to wear. Like this padding is intense, baby. And that's how I like it because these orthopedic feet, these uh, arthritis feet, okay, need all the help they can get. So I do get the height, but I also get the comfort and I get the look and I'm here for the three in one deal, baby. Okay, I am here for all of it. And once again, literally just put your foot in, snap this around your ankle, and you're good to go. I don't have to buckle nothing. I don't have to zip nothing. Just literally put it on and go. My type of shoe. So that is it for today's haul. Super disappointed, but you know what? It's, it's a learning game. It's me figuring out... Uh, what's the best type of shoe for me, the best store to purchase from. Um, it also helps y'all too. So y'all know if y'all have the same situation as me or the same issues as me or the same concern, you know what to do and what not to do. And what you should not do is go cheap at DSW, okay? Because it's not, that's not it. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching. I wish I had better news or better shoes to show you but this is the reality but this is you know real life okay this is what it is and y'all got the good the bad and the ugly and the extra 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 fine okay and i'm usually on extra fine so y'all can take this one bad take it and then y'all get the fine You'll be happy that you stayed, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles! <laughs>